Hello there, fellow seekers of knowledge, future ladies, men, and hopeless romantics. Welcome back to our channel where we delve deep into the fascinating intersection of psychology, human resources, and pop culture. Today we're examining the world of relationships and romance. Yep, we are cracking the code to what women really want, and trust me, it's not rocket science, it's more complicated. So if you've ever been puzzled by the enigma that is the female mind, stick around. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring a the notification bell so you won't miss any of our enlightening content. Through your support, we can continue to bring you eye-opening and enlightening content. All joking aside, the aim of this video is to learn more about the inner workings of a woman's mind to improve your romance, intimacy, and compassion. It's time to debunk those age-old stereotypes about both men and women. You know, the ones that say, real men don't ask for directions, or that all women love shopping. Let's break it down, shall we? This video is your ultimate guide to understanding the wonderful complexity of women. We're talking real science, not just Hollywood movie magic. We spent hours reading and researching The Man's Guide to Women, scientifically proven secrets from the love lab about what women really want by Gottman, Gottman, Abrams, and Abrams. And finally, if you're looking for cheesy pickup lines, this is the place for you. Just kidding. We are not going to be giving you cheesy pickup lines. We're all about genuine connections here. Picture this. A team of scientists spending 40 years in a love lab it's a little place where they got together to uh, map out the twists, turns, and hidden doors of the relationship maze. Heart rates, satisfaction reports, facial expressions, they've got it all covered. So let's uncover what women want. And here's the deal, folks. Women don't want the moon and stars. They want something that's even more valuable. Trust, trustworthiness, trusty, trust, trust. Yes. Being reliable, consistent, and accountable, that's the key. It's all about evolution and providing that sense of security. Remember, this is the foundation, the rock-solid ground for a healthy relationship. Trust me, it's not about being a human GPS, but about being attentive. You know, giving your full attention. A-T-T-U-N-E Xion. Yep, it's an acronym and it's pure gold. A tune, A-T-T-U-N-E, is a roadmap to her heart and mind. So, let's break down our new favorite acronym. A is for attend. Give her your undivided attention. Say goodbye to that phone or TV remote when she's talking. And double T stands for turn toward her. Eye contact is powerful. U is for understand. You're not just nodding your head, you're in the same chapter of the book. Ask questions, connect, and make sure you're on the same page. N is for non-defensively listening. Hey, we're all human and sometimes we mess up, but in this step, it's all about listening without getting defensive. Remember, empathy is the name of the game, which is why our last letter E is for empathize. It's not about who's right or wrong, it's about acknowledging feelings. And just like that, you're well on your way to strengthening your relationship skills. But you're not out of the woods quite yet. Dating isn't just about cracking the code, it's about sparking that initial fire. Imagine you're at a party, and there she is, your potential connection. But hang on, how do you know if it's a green light or a red flag? Pay attention to those nonverbal cues, Sherlock. Quick glances, subtle smiles, it's like a secret language. Now how do you up your chances? Channel your inner George Clooney. To do this, combine a splash of confidence with a dash of nonverbal dominance. Trust me, a confident posture and a little social charm can go a long way. But no pickup lines here, Ross Geller. That is so Paleolithic age. Remember to attune. It's your golden ticket to a great conversation. Keep it genuine, ask open-ended questions, and treat her like the wonderful person she is. Oh, and eye contact? It's not just for staring contests. Unless you're really good at staring contests, then maybe it's acceptable, but whatever you do, don't start a thumb war until at least date number three. 
All right, enough sidebar, back to the valuable content. Don't forget to blink. I can't stress this enough. Non-blinkers weird everybody out. And too much blinking, well, she'll refer to you as blinky when gabbing with the gals. And mirror her body language. Yeah, it's like a secret dance move, but it speaks volumes. And just when you think you've cracked the initial conversation, it's time to take it to the next level. The first date. Think outside the box, my friends. Adventure and excitement are the ingredients to spark that fire. Why, you ask? Because fear and arousal come from the same brain region. Not that we're suggesting you scare her like a ghost in a haunted house, but a little adrenaline rush? Hello, roller coaster. Yes, that's a great way to keep her heart racing. Unless she has a condition, you might want to check that first. It seems like things are going your way. You can now begin to think about the first kiss. The most powerful of all kisses. Imagine you're a storyteller standing on the edge of a vast and uncharted universe. Each chapter of your tale is a constellation of emotions, a symphony of heartbeats waiting to be composed. And just when you thought you knew the universe's secrets, you stumbled upon a hidden galaxy shimmering with the brilliance of a thousand stars. That, my friends, is the power of the first kiss. So here's the deal. Confidence is your wingman or wingwoman. If she's giving you those flirty glances and inching closer, you may be on the right track. Likely are, but it's really important you pay attention to how she interacts with other people. She could just be a really friendly person. But don't rush it. Anticipation is the name of the game. Lean in when the time is right and make sure she's on board too. And remember that this is a dance. Feel the rhythm, read her cues, and trust your gut. And if that magical moment happens, then congrats, you've passed the first kiss test. The first of many tests, actually. Because we're not just in it for the butterflies and the heart palpitations. No, we're going beyond the honeymoon phase and into the realm of real, long-term connections. Now, you might be thinking, why even talk about commitment when I'm all oxytocin and rainbows? Well, my friends, it's about being realistic and planning for the future. Remember that the honeymoon phase won't last forever. It's all about compatibility. Do your values align? Are you Team Jacob or Team Edward? Can you imagine navigating the storms and still finding a rainbow together? Because here's the truth. Infatuation fades and people usually don't change drastically. So what's next? Ah, yes. Let's talk about the topic that's always a crowd pleaser. The S word. So how do you become the ultimate lover? Well, folks, it's not about copying moves from adult films. It's about reading her cues, knowing her body, and taking your time. And guess what? It all begins in the mind. Boost her confidence, make her feel beautiful, and create a space where she feels safe and loved. A happy mind makes for a happy body. And a happy body makes for a busy body. <laughs> but here's the real kicker. There's no one-size-fits-all guidebook to pleasing a woman. You cannot offer her a one-hour-of-Joey time coupon and expect that to be your ace up the sleeve. Each woman is unique, like a rare book waiting to be discovered. So do yourself a favor. Ask her what she likes and listen closely. This isn't about trial and error. It's about building a connection through communication. And hey, leave those unrealistic fantasies at the door because real love is a whole different story. And remember folks, there's one thing that can't be your teacher, adult content. It's far from educational. Learn from her, learn with her, and let the journey of love unfold naturally. All right, love explorers, we're nearing the end of our journey, but before we wrap it up, let's talk about a crucial aspect of any relationship, conflicts. Now, here's a little secret. Men and women approach conflicts differently. Research tells us that men often feel overwhelmed, leading to unproductive reactions. Ladies, we're the masters of handling conflicts gracefully. But fear not, gentlemen, there's hope. Breathing exercises, counting to 10, these tricks can be your allies. And remember, it's okay to take a breather as long as you come back to tackle the issue. 
And now for the ultimate conflict resolution formula, the three magical questions. What does she need? What are her worries? And how is she feeling? Trust me, these questions are like the keys to the treasure chest of understanding. Et voila! Conflict resolved, understanding achieved, and trust fortified. It's like magic. So, my hopeless romantics, we've journeyed through the maze of love, unlocking mysteries and learning the ropes of romance. But the journey doesn't end here. Remember, relationships are an adventure. It's about embracing the unknown, exploring the depths, and loving with all your heart. Whether you're navigating the dating scene, sharing that unforgettable first kiss, or facing conflicts hand in hand, you've got this. But before we wrap things up, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our incredible subscribers. You truly make our world shine. Make sure to show your appreciation by hitting that like button if you found this intellectually stimulating journey enjoyable. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Also, we're all ears. Are you eager for more content in a similar vein? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Here's to the adventurers, the romantics, and the seekers of profound connections. Until our next rendezvous, keep embracing laughter, nurturing curiosity, and perpetually venturing into the intriguing nooks of our shared human adventure. For those of you who crave a deeper dive into this subject, the link in the description is your gateway. And always remember, your active involvement keeps our channel vibrant. So go ahead and spread the love. This is the Psych HR Geek, signing off.